I'm a big fan of modular firearms. For me, it started with the DIY kits, then Glock, moved on to the P365 and P320 series from SIG, and now the Echelon by Springfield Armor. In the world of modular firearms, the grip module and fire control group technology is huge. Since the trigger group is a serialized part of the firearm, that means you can obtain grip modules and completely change how the firearm feels and handles. Now enter Icarus and their new Echelon grip module. The new Echelon frame is an anodized aluminum grip module that is stippled in all the right places and is super easy to install. Now per YouTube's TOS, I can't show you how to install the grip module, however, there are braver folks out there that show you how to remove the COG from the frame. What I can tell you is it's simply a lever that requires no tools to install. What's up guys, this is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Welcome back. Today we're going over this guy right here. Right here is a Springfield Echelon, except we have the Icarus Precision Grip Module. So the Echelon is getting some love. The version that's anodized in OD green, little olive drab. My native Tennessee habitat here, it's beautiful. We're gonna test feel, fit, performance, price, and total value. First, let's start with feel. As usual, the Icarus Grip Modules are wildly futuristic and built for performance. This grip module is stippled everywhere and includes protruding thumb ledges for your support hand. The model I have is a left side thumb ledge, however, in my experience with Icarus, they'll probably offer a model that is ambi, right ledge, or no ledge at all. Next, let's talk about fit and installation. The grip module was insanely easy to install and took all of five minutes. The takedown lever simply needs to be rotated off, wiggled out, the COG then pushes forward and wiggles out as well. Reverse the process to put it back in. I have had grip modules that require a little fitment in the past. Thankfully, this one did not and slid right in. All the holes lined up for an easy installation. You have a Safari Land holster. This is the model that is fit for the X300 and the original Echelon grip module. I'm happy to say this Icarus module also fits perfectly inside this Safari Land holster. And I do have this QLS adapter on there, so I keep that on my LARPing rig. As far as other holster options, something that doesn't accommodate the Surefire X300, we're not sure yet exactly what will fit, but I'm sure some holster companies will start picking it up. For example, you have the Fat Tack guys. They make really deep concealment holsters. They actually have fitments for the P365 with the Icarus modules. I'm sure a lot of holster companies will start picking these up as well. But for the time being, for my, for my scenario at least, the X300 Safari Land for the Echelon fits perfectly. Next, let's talk performance. Due to the heavy stippling, large palm swells and front ledges, the Echelon simply becomes an extension of your arm. Between the enhanced ergonomics and the added weight of the grip module, it functions well. The Echelon's performance didn't seem to suffer in any way with the new grip module, and I didn't suffer any malfunctions or issues. Except for this one time when I was riding the slide release and it didn't lock open. Now I want to take a quick moment and I want to thank my biggest channel supporters, ETS or Elite Tactical Systems. If you guys haven't seen my pretty recent video, I talk about those new Omega mags. They've been out for a few months now. I would like to encourage you guys to go check out that video. I do some durability testing 
and they performed pretty well. So thank you ETS. I appreciate the channel support. Let's keep on with the video. Now for the category I'm sure lots of you are curious about, price. Let me start by saying these modules are by no means cheap and come in around the $375 range. I spoke with Icarus to get the pricing squared away. Icarus plans to start taking pre-orders on August 31st and offer a discount for pre-orders at $374.99 for any color. Once the modules have been released, the MSRP will be $399 for a standard black version and an extra $20 to $30 more for color options. While the price seems expensive, it's right on par with competing grip modules built for the P320 series. Again, this price is MSRP and can be expected to be a little less, but that's a total opinion and not my call. Finally, let's talk about value. For those that are in the market for an aluminum grip module for any firearm, you are looking easily at over 300 bucks. When you add features such as color anodizing, Cerakote, etc., the price can add up quickly. However, for those willing and able to pay for the upgrade, it's well worth it. The feel of the firearm is far superior to the stock Echelon module. Now one thing to keep in mind, the module I received is considered a prototype. The final product will be slightly different from the model I have and won't include stippling forward of the thumb ledge. Considering literally no part of my hand contacts that part of the frame, there is no loss there. So here's some more information about the Icarus grip module right here. So after the release on the 31st, Icarus intends to release a compact and other versions of the grip module as well. Icarus will also be offering a steel detachable magwell as well. And not to mention on the production models of this grip module, there's gonna be provisions so you guys can install tungsten carbide weights for a heavier experience for those that are interested in shooting competition, stuff like that. As usual, I absolutely love this thing. Um, I'm a big fan of the Icarus grip modules. I've tested plenty. I've tested the P320 module for the X10. I've tested a bunch of the P365, different types of modules they have, all the way from the shorties, all the way to the long macro XL modules. So Icarus puts out a good product, extremely comfortable. If you guys have a chance or have a friend that has an Icarus module, ask if you guys can fondle that thing. Overall, Icarus nailed it again, and I am so pumped that the Echelon finally gets some love with some grip modules. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a blessed week. I'll see you guys.